Now I'm also going to rename this part which is the pommel. Right click, rename. Now if you just start assembling these one at a time on under the head etc they will tend to merge and become one solid each one will start to lose its identity but we can prevent that if we move to new component Well, there we have a component, it's now in a its own container, pommel and grip. Right click, move to new component, grip, shaft, and head. Now we can start placing these parts. So we'll select the shaft, We've got the move tool, we can move the hub onto the end, select up to, and nothing moved, which means that this end is already level with that face. Now if we select the green one, up to and select the face, it will move to the centre in the direction of the arrow we chose. And if we select that one, the red one, and up to, uh, we see that the shaft is now placed on this face of the hammer. Next job is to put some of these grips on. So we'll we'll move it, we'll bring it square and move it roughly where we want it along the shaft, which is roughly about there, that's, that's fine. So with the anchor in the middle of the grip, we can say up to, choose the surface of the shaft and it's put it on the grip but we notice that something's gone wrong uh, I've made this shaft the wrong diameter which is uh, my deliberate mistake so we'll choose pull choose the shaft and we see it is in fact 0.325 inches radius so obviously I've typed in 0.65 instead of 0.56 for the diameter. So to get to 0.56 we need to enter the radius appropriate for that. So we don't have to mentally divide 0.56 by 2. We can do it on screen. 0.56 divided by 2. Return. problem solved. Now then we want eight of these along here. <clears throat> so we'll choose the grip in the structure tree, move and down here we'll select the create patterns across here on the left hand side create patterns and drag it to roughly where we need it there release and the count it's highlighted. It's two at the moment, so we type eight, return. There's eight of them. Finally, all we need is to put the pommel on the end. So we can select it, pommel, drag it a bit. Now it's facing the wrong way, so we'll turn it around 180.
put the anchor on that end up to so now it's in line with the end I can go up to again select the outer diameter of the shaft there's our pommel on the end I don't think that pommel is big enough so I'm going to increase it so I can pull and then I, I'm not going to type a dimension I'm just going to artistically pull it to what shape I think it should be that looks better to me so there it is there's the completed Thor's hammer hope you like it Bye for now. Bye.